Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, November 2nd. You see temperatures mainly in the low 40s across the area. Of course, in Owego, our cold spot down there by the river at 37 degrees. But uh, for the week, we expect a lot of great weather ahead. Lots of sunshine, dry conditions, and temperatures that are going to be running around 15, maybe as much as 20 degrees above normal for the week as we see highs each day in the 60s, maybe even a couple of days in the low 70s. So very warm, balmy weather out there. And with the understanding that the beet dumps are going to be shutting down here later today, looks like all hands will be on deck for corn harvest, as this could be quite a busy week in that uh, department. If we look at the satellite, you can see the zone will flow off as our clouds continue to move from west to east and while lifting off uh, to the north as a warm front moves through the area. And again, that will create a flood of warmth across much of the lower 48. Now if we slide this off to the uh, west, and you can see a system digging in. That's going to carve out a nice trough across the west, give them some cooler conditions, and that'll help build the ridge in the east and allow for a lot of warmth in our area along with decent weather. If we look at the forecast map for this morning, you can see the low pressure with a warm front will be moving off to the northeast, and that's going to allow a flood of warmth to come in for much of the lower 48. If we look at, uh, skip a couple of days ahead to Wednesday morning, you can see that disturbed weather off to our west. Again, well away from the Great Lakes, high pressure will continue to pour that warm air in across with that strong uh, low-level southwest winds and south winds going to keep us nice and warm all week along with being dry. And if we look at the temperature forecast off the GFS map, you can see temperatures on Thursday could get up around the low 70s across much of the MAC area as we expect uh, things to be dry with lots of sunshine right through Wednesday or Thursday as it looks right now. And if we look at the precipitation, this is through Thursday morning, and we expect uh, no precipitation or maybe just trace amounts, and this wouldn't come until Thursday night. And again, most likely, I think much of the rain will hold off till Friday now, as we should get through all of Thursday quite dry, so that will give us an extra day of harvesting there. And as far as precipitation amounts, you can see a pretty significant band off to our northwest, and if we move this ahead to the day on Friday, you can see Lots of rain expected to move in according to the GFS. Now, it should be noted that the European model is a little bit farther to the northwest with a significant precipitation. It would mainly bring about a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch across the area where this GFS model gives us a solid quarter to as much as uh, six or seven tenths. So we'll just have to wait a few days to see how the models come together. But the overall theme is that the heaviest rain will be back across Iowa, Wisconsin, into northern Michigan and the UP as it looks right now. But again, we'll keep an eye on this. But until then, lots of sunshine. Enjoy the weather. weather. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.